The wonderful streets of Geneva, Switzerland, where we are going to spend the next 24 hours exploring and doing some fun things and packing a lot in in just 24 hours. There is no way you'll get me on that. But first, breakfast. Now Geneva's known for being really expensive, so we're gonna try and keep a tally of how much we're spending as well. So that was nine francs each for a croissant and a coffee. Now we're jumping on the metro to the botanical gardens to start the day. So after a very short 10 minute tram ride, we've made it into the observatory and the botanical gardens of Geneva, um, which is this really nice looking park here. So we're gonna do a little bit of exploring and see what this observatory is about as well. We've made it inside one of the uh, structures that are around this park. And I've got to say, I'm really impressed by this park. Normally it's pretty boring just walking around a park but this is incredible and there is literally thousands and thousands of different plants all over the place oh wow you can actually walk around up top there there's also these walkways all the way above this area here it's so sick actually it reminds me of green planet in dubai which we did a video about a couple of months ago up here I really thought this place was going to be like a 20 second feature of the vlog, but it's actually probably my favorite place we've been to in Geneva so far. It's amazing. There's frogs, there's peacocks, there's all these greenhouses behind me that you can explore. 10 out of 10 for the botanical garden. Now we're going to head to one of the main places in Geneva, which is the big waterfall. So this is the Geneva water fountain. Um, it was about a 10, 15 minute drive from where we were at the botanical gardens. And it's pretty epic. It's 140 meters in the air shooting water. It also lights up at night and it's impossible to miss because you can see it all the way around Geneva. It's pretty sick and there's all these boats around there. So we're gonna have a little walk around now. We're now going on our own little walking tour that I've put together on Google Maps, which you can check out in the description, um, which is gonna hit some of the main sites of Geneva. There's now a five minute walk from the fountain over to the flower clock through this lovely little park. The flower clock, it's a clock made of flowers. We're now walking up an extremely steep hill to get some cheese fondue for lunch. Apparently this place is really good. Food was very good in the restaurant. I'll link it below. It was 65 francs for both of us. And now it's just next to the main church that we've come to look at behind me. So we're gonna do a bit of exploring. I think we can actually get up to the top of this tower and get a bit of a view as well. seven francs each to walk up 160 steps of this church to the viewpoint. Hopefully it's worth it. We thought we made it to the top. We've still got another tower to get up. We've made it to the top of the tower to this sketchy little room where you get some really epic views all over Geneva, actually. What do you think, Eb? It's scary. It's actually really, really high. Look at this. The bells. 
there's also a toilet here with probably the best view of Geneva. <laughs> we also have to wait for our turn with the traffic light system. It's currently red because it's so small only one person can get down it. So we've just walked down from the cathedral and done a couple of laps of the shopping. There's two big streets, one with like all the main shops like H&M, Zara, blah, blah, blah. And then this street we're currently on, which has like Prada, Louis Vuitton, all the very high end shops to be expected in Geneva, one of the most expensive cities in the world. Um, but now we're making our own little chocolate tour. I've picked four or five of the best chocolate shops we can find on the map. And we're going to go and do them ourselves instead of paying 400, instead of paying like 20, 30 francs for a chocolate tour. So let's see what chocolate we get. Change of plan we've just seen loads of like armed police and things everywhere and now we're seeing there's a big protest on the bridge so we're gonna check it out looks pretty rowdy I don't know if you can really see behind me but there's a whole bridge full of protesters about to walk into the main town I tried to translate it but I have no idea what they're protesting I just wanted some chocolate from Geneva. <laughs> from Faraga. So when we were walking around yesterday trying to find some things to do today, uh, we actually discovered a pop-up theme park that's here. So we've come to check out Luna Park, um, which is about a 15 minute walk from where we're staying in Geneva. So there's some rides and things we're gonna check out, but there's also this little skate park just next to us, which is a nice place to walk around. Let's check out the little theme park, otherwise known as the fun fair. So I think this fairground is only up for a little bit of time, but I think it's a recurring thing each year, so it might be here when you come. But it's quite a fun little thing for an hour or two to do some rides. We're gonna try some now. Oh my God! <laughs> There is no way you're getting me on that. <laughs> oh my god, Brad, look. Oh my, they're stuck upside down. Oh my god. We've come to the fun house. The hell? <laughs> Oh my god. You get quite a good view up here actually of the whole little theme park. Okay. Brad? Yeah? <laughs> oh my god, I'm coming. <laughs> Oh, I'm dizzy. <laughs> We 
we're trying to find a bar or something to go to after that crazy experience on that ride but we've not had much luck with bars and things but the bar in our hotel is apparently very nice and we get a free drink but I'm excited to show you the hotel because what we've got is I think one of the best hotels in Geneva we're walking back now but I'll give you a little room tour So we're literally back now in where like all the main shops are and things and we've walked into this little mall like bit which is where our hotel is which is called the Ruby, the Ruby Hotel. It's even got a McDonald's right underneath it. So we're back at the room and uh, it's pretty small, but location is incredible. Uh, it comes with not much storage, but these hangers up here. The sink is on the outside in the main room. There's a nice little shower, uh, which is open in the room and a nice big spacious bed. Uh, it does also come with a little bar of chocolate and some water. Also, you can opt for your room not being cleaned and you get free drinks tokens. So we're gonna go and use them now. But overall, really impressive this hotel and it's very nice and aesthetic. And it was one of the cheapest ones we could find in the city and it's right in the heart of it. So big wins. Now we're gonna go and check up the bar upstairs. We've come upstairs and got our free cocktail. It's strong. So it turns out there isn't really a lot to do um, on a Sunday in Geneva. Uh, everything seems to be closed, all the shops and everything, but that's okay because we're actually getting our flight now. But one thing I didn't mention is all the public transport is free. When you book any hotel in Geneva, you get free bus, tram, train, everything. So we're actually getting the free bus to the airport now. But let's check out Geneva Airport and get out of here. So we made it to Geneva Airport, it was super, super easy. The transport system across the whole city is super, super simple and uh, Google Maps really helps and you can get anywhere really, really quickly. And now we are in the airport and that pretty much concludes, but we'll just quickly show you the airport and the lounge. So we made it inside the uh, lounge now, inside the airport. It's a very nice but old airport, pretty basic and nothing, to, nothing too special. And that basically concludes our trip to Geneva. It's more like 12 hours in Geneva instead of 24 hours. But in my last video, we spent 48 hours in Prague and we also went to a festival, a skiing festival in France. So we've had quite a trip. So if you want to check those out, you can check out the other videos above. And apart from that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you somewhere in the world next time. Boom.